All right, so we're a week into the 9.2 patch, and we've unlocked the rest of the content for the patch. And today we're going to be talking about one piece of content in particular, the Brawl Solo Shuffle. So there are some major differences between a regular 3v3 match and a Solo Shuffle Brawl 3v3 match. Outside of Blizzard not wanting them to take over 30 minutes due to attention span and whatnot, there are three restrictions that they've listed. Uh, and seem to be in effect while playing the Brawl. And I'll have a snippet of all that on screen right now. But the first one is its first kill wins. So if your team kills somebody in the enemy team and it's a 3v2, the match just ends. Uh, now, I was playing Night Fae in the clip you can see above uh, to test out the Pod Tender. Um, pod Tender does not end the game, right? You still get to use your Pod Tender. There's no bug there uh, yet, anyways. But so it kind of eliminates the whole 2v3 and 1v3 aspect of like a rogue trying to stealth away and like just take up time and whatnot, which is fine. Honestly, I would prefer, this is where my first gripe kind of comes in with this system, um, is I would prefer like a 15 second timer after the kill lands to see if it gets reduced down to a 2v2. Now, some people don't like that because, you know, if it goes down to 2v2, a lot of people don't like 2v2s, and if the game's not high dampening or whatnot, it could take a while, and it could be a pain in the ass. But, even though it's few and far between, cross kills do happen, and it's going to feel really shitty when somebody's on 0.1% HP, and so is somebody on your team, and your guy dies first just because another character did something a second sooner now granted if this is how the brawl is going to work yeah because you did your your thing a second sooner yes you get the win you deserve the win that's how this game mode is set up but cross kills happen not often but they happen and it's going to feel like shit when they could have happened and you know you could have won the 2v2 and now you just lost that round and lost points the second thing is mana regeneration is further restricted and drinking will work differently or perhaps not at all. Now, I actually didn't get a chance to drink at all in any of the matches I've played today, being that my shaman is super low item level. And because he's super low item level, I pretty much got trained every round or was getting hit by something. There's also a lot of pet classes, uh, warlocks and hunters. So there was, there, was no, there was no me getting any sort of drink to test this. However, mana, I didn't really get any hint of bad mana regeneration, even with uh, the nerf to every healer's mana regeneration. Granted, I'm a shaman, so healing, or mana tide totem, along with water shield. Mana's not really an issue. Now, the last thing... Um, it's not really a restriction, it's more of just a thing that happens. If a player leaves, the match is resolved, as if that player lost every round. Now, we don't necessarily know what that means yet, because there's nothing on how much rating is tied per round win, and if you need three or four round wins to actually gain rating, or if you gain X amount of rating per win, and then... It, it's like a like an offset thing and maybe three and three nets you like 10 points and like two and four is zero and if you only win one you we, we don't know we have no idea what the points are going to look like yet so if the points are something along the lines of what i just described to where you need to get a win to counteract the negative points i don't know how it's going to work out if somebody leaves if it's that kind of system or if it's just you get X amount of points per win. And then if somebody leaves in like round three, it averages out as if there was just three rounds played and that there wasn't six rounds ever, right? Um, I don't know if that really makes sense. I, I just don't know how they're going to do it with rating involved. Um, and they do plan on putting it in rating as far as I'm aware. So the biggest issue with solo shuffle ends up coming up as soon as we add in rating and that's everybody's item level. Without a normalized item level or a min or a max to item levels, you're going to get people who are fresh joining in, ruining games, and people who are so overgeared, tanking their rating or doing whatever they're doing, coming to lower bracket, and then also kind of ruining your games. Being that it's round robin, it 
it mitigates that to an extent because you will have the games with them and then against them. But that doesn't really help for the enjoyment of the game mode. Um, you won't feel like everything's on an even playing field. Everything is going to feel like such a, a left or a right swing in difficulty or ease. The, the, your drastics are going to be so volatile. There will be no middle ground of balance when it comes to item level. If you have a super geared player and then a very under geared player and then everybody else is average, you know, mediocre. So if Blizzard actually implements something to kind of fix the item level disparity between new players and returning players and players who play every day and players who don't and just kind of put everybody on the same playing field when they hit that Q button. I think the Brawl is going to be an amazing addition to Rated when it comes to Rated, which it should. All in all, I think 9.2 is a great step in the right direction for World of Warcraft, and I hope we definitely get more like this come the next patch and the next expansion, if we even have another patch for this expansion. But definitely next expansion, I, I definitely want to see more quality of life changes like this and actually make the game bearable to play again and not feel like I'm just on some never-ending grind all the time for such a minute power increase it's just it's been getting too much the last couple of years i personally haven't really played much of shadowlands it's probably the least i've played an expansion but we're really open for more good changes like this because i would i would love to get back into the game but with all that uh we're done talking about the shuffle uh i will be starting streaming up again this week at twitch.tv dash rusama Catch me there. It'll probably be later on the evening, 7 uh, p.m. Eastern to 10 p.m. midnight-ish. But, uh, you know, go over there, drop me a follow. I'll be on at some point this week. Um, I have a lot of work to do with my regular 9 to 5. Um, and then I'm going to try to make a few more videos to get out this week. But other than that, everybody have a great day and uh, enjoy the past just like me.